Thank you very much. Well, if you are looking to make a real difference in the lives of people who live in your community, then the Chicago Police Department is looking to hire you. Yeah, and if we're talking recruitment, why not go to the very top? Superintendent David Brown, kind enough to join us this morning with what you need to know. Superintendent, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Anita just mentioned making a difference in the community. Why do you think, Superintendent, that the Chicago Police Department is the right place to do that? Number one, in my opinion, it's the best police department in the country. Uh, it's the most challenging time to be a police officer, particularly here in Chicago. We, we face uh, hypercriticism, but our tagline is be the change. Uh, the things that we need to do to improve our community, it, it will be exciting. It will be great, greatly rewarding, but it will be dangerous, dangerous and, and it will be challenging. But uh, I, I would argue the most rewarding public service you can do. Well, you, you've done law enforcement for many, many years, and you know how the job is difficult. We know that the applicants that you're looking for need to be residents in Chicago. They need to be of the age at least 21 and over. But I want to ask you about the character of the individuals that you're looking for, because this job, as you know, as you just said, it's tough. You're, you're, you're part counselor, you're part intervener, and you're a crime fighter as well. So what is the perfect candidate for you? Number one, we're looking for a diverse candidate. We want to reflect the Chicago community as well as we're looking for high character people, uh, people who have patience, who have the right temperament, who can de-escalate rather than escalate issues. And so we're looking for people to actually help us change our culture as well. Uh, so our tagline, be the change, is quite appropriate because uh, it's easy to criticize what is harder to do is become a part of the solution. If, if we're going to sell this super, let's talk dollars and cents. My understanding is after just 18 months on the job, an officer can make 70 grand a year. What I don't know is if that's competitive to smaller suburban police departments. You would say what? We're, we're challenged with the competitiveness as far as salary is concerned, but there's, there's no better place to police than a big city in this country. Urban policing is, is some of the most rewarding policing. It, it, it's no slow pace it's quite uh the challenge but quite the reward so again i would argue urban policing big city policing like chicago being the second largest police department in the country uh is the most rewarding challenge you can uh take upon yourself and you will be joining brave and courageous women who risk everything every day to protect the people of Chicago. Well, I know that you are here to talk about the recruitment effort, but while I've got you here, I've got to ask you, you know, a couple of questions. But one of them is about sure. the surge in these carjackings we've seen here in the city. I know this has got to be frustrating for you um, because these carjackers, they are so fast and they move quickly and they surprise everybody. And the thing is, they're getting younger and younger. They are. We've arrested 370 people for carjacking related crimes, including vehicular hijacking, felony possession of a car, and criminal trespass to cars. These are the carjacking crews. So 370 have been arrested so far this year. And yes, the majority are very young people, 13, 14, 15 years old. And the juvenile justice system is just doesn't have the same consequences as the adult system, but we need to have real consequences regardless of your age for carjacking. And including the adult system and the criminal justice system. And we're challenged because our courts have not held jury trials since March of last year. Wow. And so the levers of justice are not as effective as it could be, but our police officers are on the front lines doing everything they can to bring carjackers to justice. We, we got less than a minute left, Superintendent. You know, you didn't really get a honeymoon. You were thrown into it big time here uh, with COVID, with the riots, a lot of people calling for your job. What did it mean to you personally to have the mayor say she backs you by 1,000%? One of the things I always say about this job, it's just the life we chose. And it's obviously the most challenging time to be a cop. I'm excited to be in this position and we're going to move the needle. We're going to gain some momentum. We're going to come out of this crisis and we're going to make Chicago much safer as we get further into uh, coming out of the pandemic, obviously, where the vaccine is in the community and we can open up and we can do the things in the community to engage people much more than we've been able to do the last 11 months. 
Well, you certainly have a difficult uh, job. And, you know, as we discuss the possibility of growing the ranks, I want to ask you about the department's efforts to help officers who are already on the job deal with the difficulties of the job. I mean, it's never good when they bring uh, work home or bring home to work. And we know that you've had a couple of incidents with officers this past month committing suicide. I want to ask you, um, because there are people who are looking at this possible job, how, how are you helping these officers cope with the stressors of the job? Because that's so important. You're right. And that's one of the primary pillars of our strategic plan is officer wellness. Officer wellness is about the physical wellness of officers, but also the emotional wellness of officers. We brought in outside subject matter experts on officer wellness to provide them the best mental health programming uh, that, that's out there. So we are focused on this. We believe that if officers are not well, they can't very well do the job in the most effective and efficient ways. And so it's a primary focus of this department. We, we have everything from uh, EAP to peer support, but we're bringing in even more programs so that our officers can be much uh, more well in the way they do their job and have emotional stability as well as physical wellness. I like to hear yeah. that. And again, CPD is hiring. That's the good news. Uh, Superintendent David yes. Brown, nice to finally get you here on Good Day. We'll love to have you back. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, thank you so much. Stay safe. After the break.